Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Friday, and we are hyped for another Team of the Season. Oh, Team of the Season is over, boys. For the first time in literally like a month and a half. There's nothing coming out on a Friday. We have no league to look forward to, no Team of the Season cards, no juice stats, SBCs, objectives that we have become used to looking forward to every Friday for the past like month and a half like since seriously um like what was it late April early May when we had that Premier League team of the season drop with the whole you know the card guessing game and whatever was going on with EA Sports as a FIFA channel and team of the season is basically over it is done this entire last week has been filled with a lack of content nothing to do SBC wise uh, and upgrade SBC wise and just uh, not a lot of people happy with the game for the past few days We have gameplay patches coming out We have new servers added. I just want to talk about what happens next in the next You know this weekend in the, in the short term what happens this weekend with the market? What could happen today for content and then also talk about some of the EA? Uh, communication stuff that we've had recently and just again kind of just go over the lack of uh, good content during ultimate tots. I mean, you think about ultimate tots and you think of the word ultimate ultimate means like one of the best or like the best. It is of the highest tier ultimate, right? That was, I think ultimate tots was the worst week of team of the season. Uh, yet even worse than Syria. Syria was not very hype, right? But this week with the upgrades, we had some decent SBCs to start things off, right? We had the Dries Mertens, I even forget who he had before that. Uh, but the Mertens SBC was a W. Like the Friday, the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday SBCs were a W, or at least they were okay. But the everything since then has been absolutely abysmal. The deluxe upgrades are a sham. No ultimate tots guaranteed. No grindable league upgrades. Just a big, big L for team of the season, which all those cards go out of packs today at 6 p.m. UK. And then we are literally left with nothing and it just seems so weird to have this whole past month and a half of all this content all this stuff there's stuff in packs at all times and we're just gonna cut it cold turkey is that's what it seems that's what kind of happens after a promo but it's just really hard after team of the season one of the biggest promos of the year if not the second biggest i would say uh or biggest even this year with uh, just so many people being engaged with this game at this time uh, during team of the season this year uh, with everything that's going on in the world with quarantine and stuff, I think. So uh, it's just going to be a big change and it's going to be, you know, back into earlier parts of FIFA when we were somewhat motivated to grind the trades, somewhat motivated to, you know, be on top of prices and be accessing the market and trading because there was still a bigger goal that we were kind of working towards, you know, and now that bigger goal has basically it, it's done like this is June. We are literally in the final third, the final the final quarter of the year of the game cycle of FIFA, where it is the most, and quote unquote, dead. Uh, at least we have football going on this su summer. So that, you know, could give us some potential for some sort of, you know, promotion that EA would want to run. And we still have footies to look forward to. But other than those things, uh, there's just not really a lot to look forward to right now in FIFA. So again, these are the cards that are going out of packs today. Some people have mentioned to me, is there a possibility of like the same scenario that happened with Full Birthday? Is they just throw an audible and they put these cards back in packs again for another week? If they did that, it would be again such a money grab. Putting the ultimate tots back into packs would be, you know, these are the most unpackable tots cards. And you saw what everybody got in reds today, right? Oblox, Kimmich, Alexander Arnold, Henderson, Carvalho, Hall, and Summer, like Immobile as well. And Luis Alberto, those were what like everybody, almost everybody, got in res and got in rewards today because you know the pack weight on these guys is abysmal. It's ridiculously hard to pack them. Um, could EA do something like that and re-release Tots cards into packs? I see it highly unlikely with the amount of content that's got, that's done this week. I don't know if they're trying to like set a low standard and then try to make us happy again. That would be kind of dumb in my opinion. Um, hopefully, what they're doing is. Uh, just working on FIFA 21 because you know what fine go work on FIFA 21 at this stage and Let us ride out FIFA 20 for the next couple months with a little bit of content if you can make FIFA 21 better That's the way that I see it. Don't know if you guys agree, but that's kind of the way that I see it at the moment So 
Could we see these guys re-release today? I think it's highly unlikely, but the potential is, I guess, technically there. One thing I also wanted to talk about was uh, the mid-icon SBC. The mid-icon SBC. I want to talk about this really fast, and I want to actually show you the SBC on Footbin. Um, mid-icon upgrade. I think it is this one. I think it's the, the mid-icon upgrade that came out. When did this come out? April 29th. So April 29th, the mid icon upgrade came out into packs. That was April 29th. And that SBC came out on a weird, weird day. It came out on the 29th. Okay. That was actually in during team of the season. So, um, I thought that SBC originally came out in between foot birthday and in between tots, but it actually didn't. It came out during team of the season because it came out on 04 29. So, um, but one thing that I have done at a couple points in the past, and I, I think they did it once this year at some point, I'm not exactly sure when that was though, is they released that icon upgrade on a Friday where we have no hype. We really did not have any hype, uh, you know, for content that was coming out in foot. And they released that icon upgrade uh, into packs. Some people thinking that they're gonna somehow try to revive the foot content today with a prime icon SBC. I would think this is like, a last ditch effort to try to do something with their game. If that is something they would try to do. I don't see that happening today, the mid icon upgrade. Um, but I guess if there's anything EA would do to try to keep people on their game, that would be something that they could do. Although the thing is EA sports, if you're making a prime icon upgrade SBC, if you're making a prime icon upgrade SBC, um, what are we going to make that SBC cost? Because let's take a look at the prime icons on the market. And let's take a look at the cost of them. Icons are so cheap at this stage of the game because of what team of the season prices have done to the market. Look at some of these prices. How many prime icons over a mil? Not very many. Look at some of these prices though, right? Drogba, 400K. Balak, 460,000 coins for this Michael Balak prime card that was at one point this year, 1.2 to 1.4 million coins. He's now a million coins less than what he was in January after the team of the year uh little inflationary stage right team of the year into uh you know early february 1.4 mil he's literally a million coins less right if you look at a lot of these icon graphs they're down like a mil emmanuel petit 400k he was 1.2 mil at some point right stoichkov i was amazed by this price today this guy used to be one of the most beloved icons as a prime he was 1.7 mil he was 1.7 mil during team of the year, just after team of the year. And my guy is 300,000 coins. So if EA is going to drop a prime icon SBC, that is a repeatable upgrade, there is going to be some hype for that because you know, prime icons are pretty hype, right? But if they're going to do it, they got to make this SBC literally 300 K or below. And my, yeah, actually they're probably going to make it like four or 500 K. But 400k or below to me would be like where they kind of have to make it because the first full page of icons are all at 400k. Then you have two pages of prime icons under 400,000 coins, which is ridiculous. Look at these primes. Look how many primes are 100k. 100k. Like you can't even get excited for some of these. Some of the, like some of these icons are usually really good. Makalele 300k. Del Piero 330. Who else? Rykard, 249. He's actually up a bit. He was 175K earlier this weekend. Uh, Nedved, 230K. Uh, who else? Some of these guys aren't the most high. But again, like these cards have dropped so much in price. Eusebio is 5'5. Five, five. Ronaldo is still 9'5. Then you have the top tier cards that are still ridiculous, ridiculously expensive. But Zidane, Prime Zidane's 3 mil. What was he earlier this year? He was 7 mil, right? So he's halved in price. So it just. If EA would drop that SBC today, um, you know, that's like the most likely thing that I see happening. What would happen to the market? Of course, you would see SBC fodder would fly through the roof because, you know, if there's nothing else to do in this game and, you know, um, team of the season is over with, done and gone. The only things to do this weekend are going to be play weekend league. For the ultimate team of the season cards, right? Ultimate team of the season cards are in packs for next week's rewards, if you are not aware. So the weekend league this weekend, you will get ultimate tots cards from Reds and from the elite player packs for next week. Um, but that's like the only motivation this weekend, unless EA does something different, 
uh, it's just weird going back to that state of the game where there's nothing going on and nobody really wants to grind this game. Uh, but if that prime icon upgrade did come today and so many people are just thinking that this is going to come, I don't know. I don't have leaks. And the way that EA has been releasing content recently, I don't think it's going to be coming. But that is something that I guess we possibly could see today if EA was trying to add some hype and some value to this game. I think that they would probably make it somewhere on the 400 to 500,000 coin range. SBC fodder is still kind of low. I think they would probably require like an 80, maybe an 89 and an 86 SBC or like an 86 and an 88. I don't know, maybe 87, 88. Not sure what they would do with that. Depends on what they want to do and which kind of, you know, part of SBC fodder they want to get rid of. Uh, but, you know, that would kind of make sense if EA wanted to drop that prime icon upgrade SBC. Think about what people have right now. They have a lot of untradeable team of the season cards in their club that they probably want to use for SBCs or they're never going to really touch, right? Objective cards or TOTS cards that you've packed from the guarantees, right? Because everybody does the guarantee. People have TOTS cards in their clubs right now that they're not going to use or that they're just fodder to them. So if EA released a prime icon upgrade, that would be something they could do to rinse clubs of SBC fodder before footies comes, which footies is a basically an almost entirely SBC based promo for the new cards. The footies cards are all SBC attainable. Uh, so that would be one way where EA could clear out clubs before footies uh, and then, you know, possibly make people, you know, even lose more money and try to spend FIFA points during footies. Now that's, you know, that's the EA way. That's how they think. So that is something I could see happening in the next few weeks as we wait until footies starts. Now, last year, footies was in July, I believe, late June, early July, I think. I just don't know what's going to happen this year with uh, football games still being played. I think we have La Liga is going on now. We've got La Liga, Bundesliga, Serie A is about to start up. I don't know about Ligue 1 and the Prem starts next week. So we are in almost full swing for football games being back on. And, you know, of course, stuff, if live cards are going to get upgraded from Team of the Weeks so or from Man of the Matches, I mean, you're going to see some of that stuff move on the market. If you really want to trade on this market, though, I think you want to take a look at Team of the Season cards because these, these cards have been really, really supplied up until now. They're going to get really, really rare because people are going to start, start quitting the game and you're going to see these prices fluctuate a lot. Weekend League sell-offs are going to be massive, massive times. And whenever EA drops content, you're going to see people are going to have to sell cards to get coins. But it's people are going to be off the game. So it's going to be, have to be good content. People come back, sell cards in, in order to do the content, whatever it may be. That's when you might see a rise. So that's when you could see a rise. But um, yeah, at, at this time, man, you're probably, if you want to trade... And you want to watch this market this weekend, right? I talked about focusing on this weekend for the market. The market is decently high. A lot of this stuff went up today with rewards, icons, like I mentioned, that prime right card. Um, some stuff did go down. A lot of the right backs that I was even looking at, they went down a lot today because what I did not factor into the right back situation was we had two right backs and ultimate tots, and they were very, very packable because nobody else uh you know, you weren't packing any of the other cards. A lot of people got Carvajal and Trent Alexander-Arnold from rewards yesterday, which made Lala, which made Hakimi and Wambasaka all drop, unfortunately. Uh, so I should have seen that one coming. But if you did not invest there and if you invested in other areas, you did make sure you did have a, a decent sized profit margin because a lot of stuff really did rise up. This Blanc card was 400K, 385 is where I got one at. He's now 500,000 coins. I sold mine even a little too early at like 480. So stuff is probably going to keep rising unless we get content today into the day, Friday and Saturday, reach a peak point there and then drop off from the weekend league sell-off, which you will probably see a decent amount of weekend league sell-off still. Um, some people will probably keep their teams, but I still think you'll see a sell-off because people are just now in tune and they're used to buying their teams on Wednesdays and Thursdays and then selling them on Sundays because we get all this content during the week for most of the year. People are just used to selling their cards for weekend league to get coins to do whatever uh, during the week. So that's kind of what I would expect. If you want to buy stuff this weekend, if you need to sell stuff, if you're looking to buy a card maybe for your end game team and you think it's going to drop lower this weekend, by all means, um, there will be some cards that drop really low this weekend. Uh, but if you want to buy any cards, I think Sunday night's probably going to be a good time for you unless 
we get some sort of content dropped today in FIFA Ultimate Team, like an SBC, if they continue team this season, which I don't think is going to happen. Honestly, boys, we are just in that part of the year where stuff slows down a lot. And it's unfortunate. And it's just this, it's just the pattern of the game. It's just what goes on. And it's just what you can expect to see on foot. Stuff is going to be slowing down a lot, a lot less content. We've been looking at two every single day at 6 p.m. UK. We've been boom in the SBC section looking to see what SBCs come out. Probably for the next couple of weeks, there's not going to be much, if anything, unless EA runs a new promo or something uh, that you're really going to see come out. So footies is the next thing that we're really waiting on. And tots is over, boys. Tots is really over. So it's been a fun ride. It's been fun. We've done a lot of upgrades, uh, specifically on this channel. Specifically on this channel, I have spent in total, I have about 4 million coins right now, a little over 4 mil. I started team of the season with about 17 million coins, so I'm down to four, but I also made about two to three million coins just from flipping in that six week period from doing Thursday flips, especially during the prem. I made like a mill during prem. And then after that, I made like smaller amounts each week as I had less coins, uh, but I made about like three million coins during tot. So 20 million coins in total, and we're down to about four. So I spent about 16 million coins on upgrade packs. And of course, we have one of the craziest untradeable clubs to show for it with an untradeable squad here, except for Tellez, and then just a crazy amount of SBCs that we were able to craft as well. So again, this is why, and if you guys watched me and you're like, man, this guy did so many upgrades. Yes, I had ridiculously crazy pack luck, but this is why I grinded my coins for the entire year and I traded specifically really hard in the second half of the year was to get a chance at doing upgrade packs and it paid off massively you know it paid off massively way better than i would have ever imagined it was a crazy tots for me i hope it was good for you with your pack weight your red picks all that sort of stuff but yeah team of the season was a crazy one it was a freaking crazy one but it's over so team of the season is over it's really 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 going to slow down i'll still be i'll still be covering the content on the market and on the game um but it's probably going to be at maybe a little bit of a lesser rate just because if there's not new stuff coming out every day that we have to talk about, you might not see a video from me every day because if there's nothing to talk about, then I mean, you know, what am I going to talk about here on the channel? We might be doing some other things. Um, there's some talk of like pro clubs, like career mode, and maybe some other trading challenges that we'll be doing over the summer this summer, over the summer this summer on the channel. Um, but until footies rolls around, it's going to be kind of quiet on FIFA, I think, unless EA changes something up. So we will see what they do. Uh, but regardless, for this weekend, good luck with your champs games. Again, ultimate tots are in rewards. So you have a chance of packing the big boys again next week. And if you got a Ronaldo, Messi, Neymar, any of those big boys this week, GG's, all right? We want to be like you next Week, all right? I know a lot of people are starting to leave the game and I totally understand if you are if you're not going to be tuning into the channel I understand that because this game is definitely in the downturn the lower stages some would call it almost dead I wouldn't call it dead yet I wouldn't call it dead yet because ultimate tots is still out people are still home playing this game and team of the season really hyped up people to play foot so a lot of people like made new clubs made new squads for this promo during team of the season and they're still kind of on like the new the new team, the new game, the new club. They're just kind of motivated to play still. So I don't think this game is not going to die. There's still going to be plenty of opportunities to trade. But there's going to be a lot less action in terms of content that EA is putting out. So we'll see what they do today. Again, it's all dependent on what happens today. If nothing happens, it's just, again, a normal weekend league. Prices go up and they're going to start trickling down. And we will see what happens in the next few weeks with ultimate team and with the content that happens but handshakes all around for a fun team of the season it was okay for the most part i might do a, a um, specific team of the season rate the promo video um in the future maybe in the next few days over the weekend that might be something you see so we'll talk about doing one of those but uh yeah there was a lot of stuff that happened during tots again hope it went well for you it did go well for me and again good luck for this weekend league. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.